Well, hello there. It's been a busy week over here at Coins Making Sense. This past weekend, I went to two coin shows, one in Cleveland and one in Royal Oak, Michigan. Stay tuned and let's see what I picked up at the shows. Hi, I'm Kevin and welcome to Coins Making Sense. So this week I was at the Cleveland Coin Expo in Cleveland, Ohio, and at the Detroit Coins and More Coin Show in Royal Oak, Michigan. And man, did I have some monster finds at the show today. So why don't we go to the coin cam and let's take a look and see all the beauties that arrived. So first we have the coins that are encapsulated by PCGS. First off, we have an old rattler here with a Washington Quarter in it, 1940 from the San Francisco Mint. And I pick up old rattlers just because I love how they look. Sometimes they rattle, sometimes they don't. This one's actually in there pretty good. Flip that over and you can just look at that luster on there. Not bad for a 80 something year old coin which is in a 30 plus year old holder. Picked up another PCGS graded quarter, this time a 1948 from the Denver Mint. Now this is graded MS65. You can just appreciate that luster just dancing around the coin. Flip it over. And once again, just the gorgeous cartwheel that we see gorgeous from PCGS. And finally, from the PCGS, we have this sparkling 1945 Denver Walking Liberty half dollar in MS65. And you can just see in the, in the fields how the luster just pulls around. I mean, it looks like waves hitting the ocean. And it's just a sparkling, magnificent coin. You flip it over, and whoa, look at that toning. Oh, man. This is a luster bomb on one side and a toner bomb on the other. And you can actually see that cartwheel still going around here on the reverse. So that wraps up what we have from PCGS. So from NGC, we got two coins. First of which is this Lincoln Wheat Scent MS66 Red, 1936 from the San Francisco Mint. And you can just see how the light dances around Lincoln here. It's just, just like that other coin, that other walker we had. It just pulling around just that light dancing around the coin. And this is an older PCG, I'm sorry, this is an older NGC holder. So I was glad to see this one come across this weekend. And then finally, I also picked up this Walking Liberty half dollar, but it's got a little bit of toning on it. Well, it doesn't hurt that it's also 104 years old. Yeah. This is a 1918 Philadelphia Minted in AU55 condition. Now, when you normally get coins from the 19 teens, they are nowhere near this kind of ilk. This is a stunningly nice coin. The toning just sets it off. I mean, you can see the details so much bright. They're so much bolder in this kind of a condition. And finally, we picked up some NGC graded one ounce, half ounce, and one quarter ounce Libertads from the Mexico City Mint. So you can take a look off at the first one. There is beautiful, beautiful cartwheel from the Mexico Mint. And these are early ones. I mean, this is 1994 from Banco de Mexico. One onza silver. MS65. And this is all a matched set. So we have the one ounce. Here's the half ounce. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. And then here is the one quarter ounce Onza. Three nines fine silver from 1994 from Mexico. Now, Kevin, it wouldn't be the same without you picking up some Walking Liberty halves. Well, I picked up two monster Walking Liberty halves this past weekend. First of which has some excellent rim toning. This is a 1946 San Francisco. You look at this and it's like the water is just crashing on the ocean. It is so lustrous. It is not funny. And the slight touch of color that is along the rim of this coin, it is just a breathtaking coin from both sides. And then finally, this is the piece de resistance. We had a lot of gorgeous coins here so far this week, but none are much better than this one. This is another luster bomb of a walking liberty. You can see the light just dancing around on the coin. And let me try not to blind you. But look at that date. 1920? Yes, folks. This coin is 102 years new. And brand new she is. This is an absolute gorgeous coin. I picked it up off a friend of mine in Cleveland this past weekend, and I hope to see him again this week in Cincinnati. But this is just a magnificent coin. He was upset that he gave it up, but he knew that it was going to a good home. So that's all for my recent pickups at the coin shows this past weekend. This week, I'm going to be at the Greater Cincinnati Numismatic Expo on Thursday and Friday. Uh, I'm just staying two days because I'm going to be at the Granville Coin Show on Saturday over by Grand Rapids, Michigan. If you like what you see here today, why not consider giving us a subscription? Also, give us a thumbs up. Get that likey likey. Make sure to show those YouTube algorithms who's boss. And you know what? Why don't you ring that bell for notifications of next time that there are, is content here from Coins Making Sense. Well, that's all for today. I'm Kevin, here in your spot for the dissemination of information to the numismatic nation. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a good day. Mm -hmm.